Hi, David. How are you? This is the second day of Bowl Expo, and it's been tremendous. That it has. US bowling is like a fixture in this industry. So tell me about how the Expo has been for you. Well, I tell you what, what I've really enjoyed this year, Frank, is now being in uh, Nashville. And, uh, and in fact, I was talking to some folks yesterday and telling them the first three customers that came in the booth were customers that hadn't been to Bowl Expo since it was here in Nashville, what, 15 wow. years ago or so? So for, for U.S. Bowling, it was exactly what we were looking for, was a new look at a bunch of new proprietors coming into this show. So for us, we have just been absolutely slammed the whole time here. Right. How about the second day? Usually not strong? It looks I haven't, strong. We haven't stopped since we, since we got here, you know. We, one of the things somebody just told me here in the last 30 minutes was every time I come to U.S. Bowling, you know, as a booth, every year there's something new, it's something progressive, it's not stale. You know, so now that we have acquired not only Murray International, you know, back in January, now we're producing all our own, you know, synthetic lanes, but now we produce, the, uh, now that we uh, uh, bought the company Power Gamma in, uh, in Italy, now we're producing the 24 volt string machine, which is absolutely the the most technology technology advanced machine in the world in terms of string machine, but also then the 24 volt conversion of 8270 and 8290, you know, machines. So, I mean, we're always coming out now with something you know new and progressive, and not only our scoring system with the new touchscreen pedestal and that. So we've got a lot of new exciting things that we're showing here at the show. Wow, that's impressive. What's uh, what? What do you think the future of bowling is right now? Well, listen, you know, bowling is definitely an old, you know, an old industry, but there's a lot of new progressives out there. You know, you've got the old centers, like your traditional league play, but our forte is really dealing with the new, uh, you know, uh, family entertainment centers as well as where bowling is just a revenue generator, not the, you know, old 80% staple, but also is, um, is the upscale boutique uh, social type bowling centers. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're awfully proud to be in the exciting sector, and that would be uh, the new blood of the industry coming in and building new centers around the world. You, you would, I would consider you new bloods in the industry. You, you're a, you know, fa a family that's been in bowling forever. Yeah. And uh, I guess we call you the young gun, and you've uh, done tremendously, and the future is in your hands right now. Well, we, we certainly are, are not uh, sitting on our hands. We're, we're definitely out looking to, you know, uh, uh, you know let's say at acquiring other companies. We, our, our goal and what we've achieved now is to be a full line manufacturer. From the lanes to the gutters, capping, masking units, automatic scoring. You know, we could have our own software programmers now producing our own machines. So yeah, we're 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 now on track. You know, and acquire or you know uh, putting together exactly what we've been looking to accomplish the last you know 23 years, and that is to be a full line manufacturer of new bowling equipment for around the world. How many new centers do you think go up a year right now? Well, if we're talking about you know. Domestically, domestically. I, I, I mean, I don't know, is that 75 new centers, you know, domestically? Still a good number. Still a very good number. I mean, you know, companies like us don't need to, to build 75 a year, you know, to have a nice year. But, you know, like we're in, we're in Morocco, you know, building. We're in uh, Ethiopia. We're in uh, a number of, uh, we finished a great job in the military base in, in uh, England. So, we, you know, not are we just, you know, building here in the States, but we're building around the world, and so we're really excited about the world bowling market. Yeah, it's a lot. We don't often hear about that in our trade press that much, but this is good to hear it from you. Yeah. It's good for me to know. Uh, it, it, exactly. Just don't, just don't speak it too loudly. Right. Well, we all travel in, we all workaholics, and... Uh, hey, listen, I, I, what I say is if, uh, hard work creates good opportunities. So if we work, if we work hard and we do a good, honest job and provide you know product that is you know cutting edge, we'll have a great business. And that's you know, and we've been a we've been a staple in this business. And my dad started in 1960 with U.S. Bowling. This is our 23rd year of uh, of U.S. Bowling being here, and uh, you know, which I think puts us maybe about number three in terms of length, uh, you know, of companies. So we, we definitely not only been here a long time, but we are still a progressive company and still looking to, to continue to grow this brand. Thank you, David. Fantastic. Hey, listen, I thank, you for, thank you for the opportunity to do this. And, and listen, we, we look forward to many, many more years.
We are definitely a young company in terms of employees, and we're here for the long term. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Frank. Thank you.